Heads up. Yeah, what is it? Let's see what you got. Hey, I never got a chance to properly thank you for helping me take out Winlock and Barnes. It wasn't a problem. Are you kidding? You stuck your neck out for me. I don't forget sh... I mean, things like that. You ought to try cursing once in a while. It's good for the soul. Oh, believe me. I know. It's not about you, it's about a promise I made. When I left the Capital Wasteland, I didn't just leave Little Lamplight behind. I left my family behind. I had a beautiful wife named Lucy, and a son we named Duncan. He's the one I made my promise to. The promise to clean up my act and to be a better person. I guess that sounds pretty stupid coming from a guy who shoots people for a living. I don't know what to say. Sure you do. You want to tell me how cruel it was to leave them behind. My son, he's sick. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with him. One day he's playing out in the fields behind our farm. The next he took a fever and these blue boils popped up all over his body. Last I saw he was almost too weak to walk. I didn't dare ask him to come with me. Honestly, I don't know how much longer he's going to last. Maybe you should find a doctor. Every doctor I've talked to is worthless. They never even heard of the disease. I don't need them. I need someone like you. Look, you've already done so much for me. I feel horrible asking for more. But if you're willing to risk it, I might have a way we could save him. How risky are we talking? Look, I'm not going to lie to you. It's no walk in the park. If it was easy, I would have already done it myself. Look. I really need your help on this one. Duncan needs you too. Of course I'll help. Count me in. I was hoping you'd say that. Well, a few months before we met, I bumped into a guy named Sinclair who claimed his buddy caught some kind of disease. I thought he was wasting my time until he said his partner broke out in blue boils. They dug up information about a cure at a place called MedTech Research. They even managed to grab the building's lockdown security codes. Unfortunately, Sinclair's buddy died before they were able to break into the facility. I mean, there's no way that's a coincidence, right? MedTech has to be the place. Can you trust this Sinclair guy? To be honest, I don't know him from Adam. But he brought up the blue boils and the sickness his partner suffered from. There's no way that's a coincidence. Or a trap. Would make any sense. If Sinclair says MedTech research is the place, that's where we need to go. Otherwise, I've got nothing else. Don't give up hope. If there's a cure, we'll find it. Thanks, partner. I'll put MedTech research on your map. When you're ready, just take us out there. I have all the codes we need to get through their security. What you're doing. No one's ever cared that much about me before, even if it takes me the rest of my life. I'll repay this debt to you. I swear it. You're tuned to the Commonwealth's only respite from the tedium and desperation of post-apocalyptic life. Diamond City Radio. Next is Orange Colored Sky by Mr. Nat King Cole.